The oop de oop What in the hell is an oop de oop Hey guys, welcome to Watch It For You. It's me, Aaron Kleiber. Good to see ya. Varsity Blues, baby. It was the greatest movie of your life. That's right, I just wanna cruise with my friends in a Green Day song. So Varsity Blues, guys, we have Lance, Paul Walker. James Vanderbeek's first real movie. He plays Mox, the backup quarterback. Right out the gate, his brother is walking around with a Jesus cross on, trying to eat Fruit Loops. So we go right into it, the big game, Bingville. Bingville? And there's Tweeter, Tweeter's a little guy. Tweeter's like, Bingville? Well, I'm gonna search, how do I get my ass whooped? And then it'll come up, play West Canaan. The starting quarterback, Lance, Paul Walker, Okay, <laughs> you don't laugh every time I do that. The coach, Bud Kilmer, wants to put needles in his players' knees. And then we also meet Billy Bob. During the Bingville game, he gets knocked out. Cuckoo bananas, good night, sleepy pies. Good night, moon. Good night, dresser. Good night, mush. Good night, light. Good night, carpet. Good night, Bruce. Good night boy tied in a chair. Tweeter pretty much is hitting old dudes in the balls with a wiffle ball bat. Boom! In the nuts! Billy Bob is taking shots with Amy Smart. Apparently she can hold her liquor at 78 pounds, but Billy Bob cannot at all. Hey, Billy Bob, you gonna call out some dinosaurs? He's disgusting. It was like the pie eating contest in Stand By Me. It's like Jabba the Hutt needs his wisdom teeth taken out. Backup quarterback Mox wants to run his own play. The oop de oop. The oop de oop. The oop de oop. What in the hell is an oop de oop? An oop de oop. During sex ed class, Miss Davis, does anybody have another name? A little slang term for erection. Mox. <laughs> My dude. Yeah, actually I do. The lava sandwich. The magic wizard. The dirty baloney. The Super Bowl trophy. The silver surfer. The Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh. The VHS cassette tape. Oh, you mean Candlestick Park? The old two car garage. Wait, I think that's vaginas. So Billy Bob is having problems with concussions. You better get out and play, boy. He just can't even think straight. He faints on the play. Lance gets sacked. Blows up everything in his knee. It's over for Lance. And Mox goes in and he wins the game with a minute left. It's James Vanderbeek time. Have a lovely and I love me over and I'm in a nerdy again. If he was a professional wrestler, that'd be his special move. The Vanderbeek. He just <laughs> takes you on a bridge and kisses you. <laughs> Allie Larder. What? Wait, don't be crazy. I'm just changing your car. Just get a butt naked in your car. What a whore. This is how high school football is in Texas. You're allowed to do whatever you want. You're allowed to steal a cop car, fill it up with underage women, and drive around butt naked in a cop car. You wouldn't believe what happened. These football players came in and put their wieners on the glass. Twangers on the window? Twangers on the window. Do you believe it? You guys got a problem with my guys putting their wieners on glass? Oh, I didn't think so. Sandwich. Now Mox is doing press interviews. I'm only one man. I just want to thank God for him giving me this right arm and this left arm and these two legs. And all of a sudden, I'm Matthew McConaughey. And football, if you think about it, man, football tells you everything you need to know about women and the universe and cattle. Oh, and this is the point where his crazy little brother dresses up like Islam Nation. He has an Islamic name. It's hilarious. And he looks like little Malcolm X. And he's a little white kid. Totally over people's heads. Mox decides to go over Allie's house, whatever her stupid name is in the movie. And she's like, oh, are you hungry? I'm going to make some ice cream sundaes. And she comes out with the infamous whipped cream bikini, guys. I know you're thinking, you're doing Varsity Blues. He's definitely going to make a whipped cream bikini. Uh, no, I'm not. Because I am not buying four cans of whipped cream to cover up these man cones. These peck attacks. Fantastics. Tweeter is talking about how to pick up chicks. You just slip in two Oxycontins and one ibuprofen, three liters of Dayquil, and then have them have four beers, and they panties will drop. Tweeter, I'm pretty sure you're a date rapist. Relax, Bill Cosby. They're going to a strip club. It's Mrs. Davis! I gave that a 10. That was a 10, Miss Davis. A 10. But they stayed out till 7 a.m. in the morning, and they have a big game, and there's just football action. Thunder! Na 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 interception. Thunder! Na 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 negative one yard thunder. They lost the game. Coach Kilmer blames Billy Bob. Oh, by the way, little brother Kyle now started a cult in his followers. Yeah. Billy Bob, they find him out in the football field. He's throwing trophies in the air, shooting with a shotgun. And Mox tells him some. I don't know what the hell he said. Buh, 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 you're a winner and we need you. Goo, goo, goo. Believe in Jesus. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, play football. Will you tell me?
Texas. <laughs> I'm gonna come play football for you. Mox doesn't want to listen to Coach Kilmer. I'm gonna mess with your transcripts unless you listen to me. Now go give me a championship. They're playing Gilroy. It's like Step Up Part Two. Gilroy, ten yard game. It's all white dudes. Oh shit. Offensive line coaches, the water boys. Oh oh. Now at halftime, the running back, his knee hurts. You put that needle in him. We're not playing for you, Coach Gilmer. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, me neither. And I will still date rape girls, but I'm not playing for you. That's Tweeter. He's messed up. Why you little? Uh, all right, guys. All right, let's go play a football game now. Uh, don't worry about what just happened. I know I just choked a child, but uh, we're gonna get going now. Come on, come on now. We're gonna nobody. Damn it. Ow. I think I went over the line choking a person. Now boys, for the next 48 minutes, in the 27 minutes that we have for this game, there are nine minutes. And in those eight minutes, we have 55 minutes on a drive home. The same song's gonna play at least 11 of those minutes. And for 11 minutes, we're gonna look in each other's eyes and we're gonna be champions for just two minutes. You guys hear what I'm saying? Let's go get a championship! And guess what play it is? The oop de oop The oop de oop The hell is an oop de oop And the announcers that are announcing this game, where is Bud Kilmer? Where in the Sam hell is Bud Query? I gotta say something. Where's Coach Kilmer? We gotta have an Amber Alert for Coach Kilmer. Where is? Where is Coach Kilmer? Coach Kilmer! Where are you, Coach Kilmer? We lost Coach Kilmer. Somebody get the police. Coach Kilmer's taking a poop and he doesn't come out. Yeah, go, 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 wow. Coach Kilmer. And Billy Bob's like, put me in and I block my head hurts. Tan, Mrs. Davis. Tweeter blocks it and they get one chance left and their only one chance is to play the hook and ladder play where they toss the ball back to Billy Bob and he carries 15 people with his ham hock legs churning to the end zone and he falls in and scores the winning touchdown. The West Canaan Coyotes win. Where is Bud Kilmer? Where in the hell is Bud Kilmer? Guys, thanks for joining me for watching for you. AaronCliver.com, Instagram, Vine, Facebook, Twitter. I am headlining a weekend at the Pittsburgh Improv, March 12th through the 15th. Right after the Super Bowl week, I will be in Erie with my friend John Reed. That's going to be fun at Junior's Last Laugh. I'll be doing shows in LA with John Witherspoon. HandleTheTruthPodcast.com. Me and Sean Collier, we do movie reviews. And we are now part of EpicCast.tv. Check that out. Our podcast and watch it for you. All part of EpicCast.tv. Love those guys. Check out my website, my calendar, whatever. Follow your heart. I bet you these boys are having the times of their lives. You have any jaw left? Oscar moments. <laughs> That's right, hit this can off my head, you, you stinking little baby girl.